right, so I'm Zach, and Hi, Zach. we are going skiing with our friends Austin and Mariah in Colorado, and one of our other friends, Vanger, is joining us. To start out this trip, we're going to guess what's going to happen skiing tomorrow. My prediction is going to be that Austin's going to try to show off his great skiing skills by throwing snow on me, and he's going to eat sh and fall on his face while he tries to throw snow on me. That's a solid prediction. I'm Lisa, and I think that Zach is going to try to hit a jump. <laughs> oh, is it my turn? I'm Mariah. I think that Vanger is going to get violently hung over and puke off the side of the chairlift. Um, I'm Austin. I think Zach is going to think he's good at skiing, try to keep up with me when I'm actually good at skiing, and he's going to eat <laughs> And I think Vanger is just going to eat because <laughs> he's going to suck. That is brutal! After this, we made our way up to the Denver airport to pick up our friend Vanger and made our way up to the mountain. Lisa's cousin Sam met us at the top and we spent some time in the hot tub before heading out to the slopes early the next morning to get some skiing in. We made it to Winter Park and we were a little tired last night so we didn't get uh, Vanger and Sam's predictions but we're here for it now. Alright, I am Vanger and my predictions are Austin's going to be cooking it up today on the hills, on the slopes. But yeah, I feel like Zach and I were going to be eating the dust quite a bit and hopefully we make it through. My name's Samuel. Um, I'm predicting that every single person on the group is going to have at least one goggle full of snow by the end of the trip. <laughs> good morning, good morning. This is Austin with your morning report. We are currently cooking um, breakfast in the lot in the bed of my Honda Ridgeline, which is so much better than a Tacoma. Um, you got a fan over there? <laughs> Um, yeah, we're gonna have some beers, cook some breakfast, and then we're gonna be hitting that black diamond first run right there. Why don't you show him, Zach? Hell yeah. Dude, French gonna, fries, I'm straight down. <laughs> Those of us that rented gear had a little trouble starting out with snow sticking to the bottom of our skis, but after cleaning them off, it got better quickly. Well, we just made our first connection trip from uh, the first gondola to a uh, lift to bring us up to greens. Vanger made his first oh. run down. He did great. The night before, we had gotten eight inches of fresh snow, so we had lots of powder for skiing. All right, Sam, okay. how many times have you fallen? Uh, one time so far in the woods. <laughs> Lisa? One time so far, and I wasn't going very fast. <laughs> Mariah? Zero! Ringo? I have not fallen yet today, but if you fall in the woods and no one sees, did you really fall at all? Yeah. Ooh. I would count like a one total fall. I haven't like completely hit the ground, but I've almost fallen multiple times, so we'll count go as that. Back at it again. Uh, I've fallen half, over half a dozen times, but you know, like what they say, you're getting knocked down, you gotta get back up. Enjoy, enjoy the falls, but it's been a great time. Been a great time, doing a lot better than I expected. 
<laughs> well, no, we'll go with half a dozen. I like it. I'm Austin, and I don't fall. What the? F <laughs> what do you think this <laughs> is, bro? <laughs> <laughs> We have only been skiing in Michigan before, so getting to enjoy these long runs with beautiful views was so much fun. But we're gonna go out after dinner tomorrow night. Yeah, yeah there's like this village that Abraham that took Sam and I last time. It was pretty dope. Yeah. It's, it's just like literally shops everywhere. Oh, that sounds so fun. Super dope. I need to do some shopping. <laughs> <laughs> so we went down this green run and Fanger and I got separated. Right so as then we separated, I wiped out into the fucking <sighs> fence. Like, oh fences. no. So I was a little worried because Austin specifically told me to ski behind Vanger and I skied ahead of him and we went separate paths and I was like, oh no, Austin's going to have it out for me. <laughs> so we, uh, we got down this green run that brings us back to the lodge and we ran out to where it got flat and you have to push yourselves and Vanger threw his skis and fell into the snowbank and I was like, I'm doing that too. So that's where we're at now. We're just chilling. Some nice air. It is or like... I know, I took them off and I can't see without them. What's your review of the skiing in Colorado? Really good. Um, I like the the trails with all the little bumps. The, what was it called? The tree trails? The dilly dally. Oh yeah. It was fun. We've been blessed with this perfect snow fall the entire time. Kind of checking out all the stuff down in the village here after skiing. We got some uh, snowflake catchers here. <laughs> and we got to get a picture over here. So Vanger is looking for someone to help fill this chair. So if you have any uh, applicants for a girlfriend for Vanger, go ahead and drop them in the comments. We'll review those. and. Uh, you can fill up this seat with Vanger. <laughs> this is the gondola we got to ride up initially in these enclosed gondolas. And then they've got some sort of competition down here as well. Pretty cool. By around 2 o'clock we had gotten pretty tired, so we decided to pack it up and make our way back down the mountain. 
We ran into quite a few incidents on the way down, and there is some cars quite a far ways off the road. Austin and Sam both did a great job driving. They were careful, and we got home safely. The next day, we got to sleep in, and then we got up in the morning and went to see Garden of the Gods. Austin and Mariah brought us to their favorite gift shop, and we got to check out all these cool souvenirs. We may have spent so much time shopping that Sam decided to take a nap in the bed of his truck. After that, we headed into Manitou Springs and stopped at the brewery for some snacks and a few beers. Checking out the town, we found this shop. The signs say it all. At this point, our microphone cut out, but we were probably saying something about how ridiculous it was we got all these prizes. Vanger and I had been looking forward to making dinner for everyone, so on our way home, we picked up the ingredients and started to cook. All right, so we lost audio here, so we just had to dub over. I'm gonna talk about the dish I made. We've got some fresh Atlantic salmon here on a bed of uh, black beans, rice, and cabbage. And then, uh, Vanger, you wanna tell us what you have? All right, so I had um, ahi tuna straight from the Philippines, one day expedited chipping, um, and also made some mango slices going with some flour avocado. Cheers! After dinner, Austin and Mariah took us to a couple of their favorite spots downtown, starting with this pirate-themed speakeasy. It was super cool and the drinks were great. Following that, we went to this cowboy-themed bar. Probably one of the biggest bars I've ever been in and let me tell you, there are some really good dancers out there. In the morning, it was time to head home. We appreciate Austin and Mariah opening up their home and showing us some of the beauty in Colorado. Music 
check out a few of our favorite pictures from the trip. And thanks for watching.